When you're working in AutoCAD Electrical, obviously you're going to be working with schematics, connectors and so on. The other thing you'll design is panels, such as in this case, a main control panel layout. Now, obviously, you've got to know physically where things go as well. Schematics, connector diagrams, all they're showing is what goes to what. When you're creating a control panel layout, for example, you've got to physically show where all the switches are, where all of the components actually go in the control panel. So in this drawing here, I'm still in the WD demo project. I'm in the panel folder this time, though, in demo 09. Again, that drawing is in your work files. You can go and look at it if you wish. It's no problem. If you've already got the demo installed in AutoCAD Electrical, you can just go straight into the project as well. So let's zoom in and have a look. I'm going to zoom in on the top of the panel. And you'll notice now, look, there's all these motors here. Now, if I look at this and hover over it and click on it, you'll see it's also a block. If I right click and go edit footprint, I can actually edit the footprint of that particular component in this case. So when you're generating panel layouts, you're not actually showing the wiring here. What I'm showing is where everything goes. It's a conveyor motor. Manufacturer is Eaton and there's the catalog number. And you can put installation, location, what the mount is, what group it is, what drawing it links to. So you can link this particular panel drawing to the wiring or the connector diagram that it may be associated with. The whole idea of this project setup is that you can link the drawings to each other. So I could go here, there's my MCAB5. So if I just drag this down a little bit so that we don't look at it, if I look there, there's my conveyor motor there, and it's M414. Now, the location is on MCAB5. If I click Drawing, I can go and locate where that drawing is in the project. I'll just cancel that for now. I don't want to make any changes, but that's the idea. If I go Show Edit Miscellaneous, there aren't any. There's no miscellaneous information there. Catalog Lookup, I can go and look it up in the catalog, if I wish as well. So the catalog kicks in, Parts Catalog. And you'll see there's my parts catalog there. It's an overload relay. And my catalog, as you can see, is loading up. The nice thing about this is this is actually a database. You'll notice it's an MDB file. So that can be read by things like Microsoft Access, Oracle, and so on. I'm just going to close that now. I don't actually need to go to the catalog as such. I'm just showing you it's there. But I can also click here, Drawing. And there's the drawing, the family component. So that's the block drawing that that block is actually on. So all of this information is at hand for you when you're creating your panel layouts. It's a very clever system. So if I go there, there's a relay there. So I can do the same thing again. Right click, edit the footprint. And there's the information again on the panel layout component insert edit. So I can go and find these components and I can just pick a block, which represents in this case a relay, and drop it into my panel. And I can link it with a drawing or a block or switch positions. I can change everything there. So go to switch positions there. There we go. One, two, and three. It's got three switches. Where are those positions? On, off, and so on. So there's some clever information there that can be utilized to your advantage. It saves you having to draw all of this by hand and manually do electrical on AutoCAD. That's the whole idea of AutoCAD Electrical. It's got the AutoCAD in there, but it's also got the electrical tools to allow you to work with AutoCAD and make you a lot more productive.